Hi there, it's Nicole here today with a spring or Easter themed card featuring lots of new products from Lawn Fawn. This card started out as a lot of dyes and I even pulled in the cute little girl dressed as a flower from the Easter party, or boy, it could be. Either way, I kind of made it probably more into a little girl um, for this card share. Now I did a lot of my die cutting off camera because there's a lot of small little pieces and just to save quite a bit of time. I am using the flowers from the Little Flowers and Spring Sprig die collections, as well as frames from the Easter egg frames. There's not only Easter egg frames, but there's Easter egg inside out dies. So those are gonna be a little bit different. They won't definitely have the frame. They're just gonna have the stitching on both sides of the die line. And the Easter egg frames have some little flowers in that set as well. So I'm gonna kinda incorporate those into my design. Out of an A2 sized piece of mermaid cardstock, I die cut the largest Easter egg frame. And I did this right from the center. I'm gonna actually use all three of those die cut pieces and then die cut an additional white frame from that die and pop it on top. I'm using one of my dies on the stamp platform now, um, or die cut pieces rather, on the stamp platform to help guide where I want to put my sentiment from the Easter party stamp set. And what I'm gonna do is line it up with the bottom of the Easter egg, pick it up, and then you can see where I've taped it to the cover of my stamp platform. I'm going to curve that long sentiment along the edge of the Easter egg so that it perfectly lines up. What I want here is for that sentiment to go along the curve of this design instead of go straight across. It definitely blends in with the design a lot better this way. I love doing this with long greetings. So I've stamped this with Versamark ink along that bottom edge. I'll sprinkle on a little white embossing powder and then heat set that to finish off the sentiment for the front of my card. The sentiment's gonna go from the front of the card to the inside of the card, which we'll see closer to the end of the video. I definitely recommend stamping your sentiment first before you start adding any of your die cut pieces. To finish the sentiment on the front, I'm adding some little white dot dot dots to the end of this phrase to kind of show that the sentiment finishes on the inside of the card. You want to do your stamping first because there's gonna be a lot of layering here, you guys. The flowers are phenomenal. I'm really excited to start putting those together and show you how much fun you can have building your own little uh, flower garden or whatever it might be with these new Lawn Fawn dies. Now I put adhesive on the back of my frame first and I'm going to attach this to a white top fold card base. And then I'll simply fill in the center with my frame the blue frame that die cut, and my inside egg piece. If you want it to all be inlaid and not have your frame pop up at all, go ahead and put your white frame or whatever color frame you're making that Easter egg in first and then replace with your inside egg piece. It's really just kind of whatever you like. I wanted my frame to be popped up a little bit with so much layering going on, I thought it would look a little bit better than doing a completely inlaid style design here. And I'm working to get this lined up. I really did find that lining up the top of the egg was, and coming from the top down was easier. I kept trying to do it from the bottom and that wasn't working. Next, I'm gonna start taking all my pieces that were die cut using the Little Flowers and Spring Sprig uh, dies out. Um, real quick, go ahead and put glue your frame in place at this point if you are doing a contrasting frame piece popped up on top. So here I'm adding that white frame. The flower pot was die cut from paper bag cardstock. Greenery is from cilantro and noble fur lawn fawn cardstocks. All the cardstock here today, with the exception of the white, is lawn fawn cardstock. I've mentioned it before in videos, but it's worth mentioning again. Lawn Fawn cardstock is my favorite, and they keep adding beautiful cardstock colors. 
Um, the most recent are all of these phenomenal neutrals and the paper bag is so awesome. That, that's what I used for the flower pot. I just can't get over how amazing all of the cardstock colors are and I can't speak highly enough about them. I've tucked in the spring sprig in my flower pot and that was die cut from cilantro and we're going to add some little purple flowers to this using the sugar plum for the flower and blue jay for the flower centers. And I wasn't sure that it would make this big of a difference, but it really made a huge difference. I'm going to put glossy accents on the center of the flowers and it's going to give each of the flower centers this amazing glossy raised finish that I really, really love. Now this flower stem, there's two different flower stems in the Little Flowers die collection. These are both die cut from Noble Fur cardstock and my first flower is going to be die cut from Sunflower cardstock and we're going to layer the large and the medium. To get a little bit more of a dimensional flower, the flower center is die cut from Fake Tan cardstock. Here is my other little flower that's going to be sticking out of the flower pot, the shorter of the two. I'm using a, an acrylic block to hold down these die cut pieces while the glue is drying. I'm using Ranger Multi Matte Medium to glue everything. I find that this works really well for all these little teeny tiny pieces. And there is even a little die cut piece for the front of the flower pot to give it that wonderful dimension. Now I've got another spring sprig die cut from Noble Fur cardstock that we're gonna tuck kind of down here along the bottom back behind the flower pot along the bottom edge. With just the flower pot there, it is so pretty, but I really felt like there's just not enough other things going on. I wanted this to be full of flowers. I don't know about you guys, and I know we're all located different places, but we are in still in the dead of winter here. It Everything is brown, everything is dead. It's been very, very cold, and I am ready for spring. And this card, the whole time I was making it, it just made me long for spring. I even, I didn't have enough purple flowers to begin with, so I filled in and added a couple more as I was going. Now I decided to do this spring sprig with yellow flowers, so sunflower cardstock and fake tan centers, so the orange centers. I'm using a jewel picker to pick these up and easily put them in put them in place. They are very teeny tiny. You're going to want to use a quick stick tool, a jewel picker, um, something like that. There are several tools on the market to pick up those little pieces so you don't have to try to get them with your fingers, which can be so aggravating. And already it's really starting to look awesome. I also want to scatter some little blooms, kind of like they've fallen off or they're just kind of scattered there down near the base of my flower pot. Um, just like this particular spring sprig is kind of um, flowering down there near the bottom. These little blooms that I'll be tucking around the base of my flower pot are the flowers from the center of the Easter egg frames. I love that Lawn Fawn was using up all of their die space here and so instead of a teeny teeny tiny egg frame they used these, that space to make some little flowers and these are a great addition because scale wise they work great. So that's what all those little pink flowers down near the bottom are. Now kind of off camera because I've already shown this a lot I added flowers up near the top as well. I felt the top was too bland. I We needed more flowers going on. Like I mentioned, I really wanted this to be a full floral design. So this spring sprig has is featuring the fake tan flowers with sunflower centers. I've already die cut those dies. I didn't cut the little flowers from the um, spring sprig apart. So I had already die cut those when I did the other spring sprig down near the bottom and I'm using up those little pieces for this flowering 
little branch up above. Plus I die cut another flower from raspberry cardstock to tuck next to it and used one of those little uh, small flowers next to that. But I felt like I needed more greenery. So I die cut one of the stems from the little flowers from Noble Fur cardstock and I'm gonna use my scissors to just trim out the leaves. Size wise, this worked better. If you have another die that would work, you could definitely use that, but I didn't really have anything I thought that was the right size. So I just altered this die cut to make it work. Now, once I have put all my flowers in place, I went ahead and used glossy accents on the centers of all of my flowers. I am taking a white pen and adding some dot details, some little highlights, all kinds of things to the die cut areas. Um, on the larger flowers. So the tulip, um, the yellow flower, the pink flower, but I'm gonna really leave everything else alone. I'll add some little highlights. You can see them on the flower pot there. But otherwise, I'm going to leave the smaller flowers alone. This is just a little bit of detail. And then I thought it would be really cute to take the little kid from the Easter party stamp set that is dressed as a flower and I want her to appear to be peeking out from around the flower pot almost like a little spring fairy or something like that the kids in this are dressed so cute there's a bunny a duck and a little girl dressed as the flower or a little boy what I just really figured it's probably a little girl but so that's what I keep saying it could be either what I want to note about this is at ha um, last fall, so fall Halloween, there is a fall and Halloween stamp set with some adorable little kid images dressed in costume. You could even use these for Halloween type of cards this next fall and Halloween season because they're all dressed up and I think that would be cute too. So just a way to extend the life of our stamp sets. I always try to make mention of that if I um, think of it during the video because I know that we all like to try to find more ways to use the things we have. I am coloring in my image with some Copic markers. This is stamped with the Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink. Something else to note, if your ink pad starts to be dried out, like I found myself having to stamp images two, three times to get a crisp stamped image. And it was really frustrating. Your stamp pad, ink pad might be dry. I re-inked my Jet Black Lawn Fawn ink pad and this is one time stamping, you guys. Um, so don't be me. Get that re-inker, re-ink your stamp pad because you are going to be so amazed at the great outline you get there. I was thrilled. Now I went ahead and die cut this with the coordinating Easter party die and I'm going to just trim off a little bit. I want her to look like she's peeking out around the flower pot and where a lot of this has already been glued down. You just really can't tuck the whole thing. It's going to be hidden anyway. No one's going to see it. Not a big deal. So I am going to go ahead and put some adhesive on the back of her tuck her back behind here so it looks like she's peeking out from behind this little flower garden almost like she's a little flower spring fairy just like the detail added to the other parts of this design i'm going to take a white gel pen and add some little dot detail to the headband headband around her head and then draw some little lines in on the flower petals to finish off the front part of this card. So this is just some nice, easy little detailing so she coordinates really nicely. I'm just so tickled with how all of this came together. Now on the inside of my card, I'm gonna take the rest of my greeting from the Easter party stamp set, the word spring and the exclamation point, and stamp this with some mermaid cardstock. I kind of forgot my exclamation point, so I gotta go back and grab that real quick. Because I've not stamped this stamp set before, I highly recommend stamping this on a scrap piece of paper first so you get a really good stamped impression. I'm gonna add some little dots to finish off my sentiment here on the inside. And here is my finished card. Thanks for joining me today for this card featuring lots of new stamps and dies from the Lawn Fawn 
latest release. The supplies I used to create this card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring Lawn Fawn that you might be interested in. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.